Hey guys, my name is Ocious and this time I'm gonna be making the resupply locker from Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress is definitely the game that I received the most suggestions from as my first video on this channel was back when I made the Bombonomicon and I think a lot of my viewers have been sticking around ever since. I kinda like making projects that I haven't seen a lot of other people make before and even if this is not a very big project, I still had a pretty good time making it. I made this build out of cardboard. I started out by drawing the template for the front and back pieces and began cutting them out. Even if the locker is closed, I still wanted to make it look like it had doors. I used a knife to cut out a rectangle from one of the larger pieces, divided it in two and just glued it back on. To make sure it wouldn't break, I also added a slice of bigger cardboard to cover the hole on the back. Because I made the locker closed, I could easily fill the empty space on the inside with scrap cardboard to help support the walls in order to keep it at a straight angle. I used some thin pieces of cardboard that I glued on on a slanted angle to get the ventilation shafts. I tried a few variations of this, but I think this came out looking the best. By which I mean it was the only thing that didn't totally fail. <laughs> I found some round wooden sticks that I could use as the base for the door handles. The pieces were so small that I ended up dropping one of them on the floor and I just never found it again. I made another pair that were a bit bigger in size and I know what you're thinking but no, I did not drop these ones on the floor. I dropped it in the trash. As I cut the handles into shape, I topped it off with a small circle of cardboard on each of the handles. After gluing it all together, I coated it with a layer of varnish before starting with the stickers. First I tried using markers to paint them, but the ink spread too far out the edges of the blueprint, so I stuck to acrylic paint. Just like in the game, I also removed a small piece of the edges to give it that slightly battle-worn look.
I was almost halfway through the script making when I realized that I had forgotten the tiny legs, so I did a last minute addition by taking a couple of black fuse beads and cutting them in half. I used super glue to keep them in place, but regular glue would have worked just fine. So there you go, a resupply locker from TF2. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas for future projects you can leave them in the comment section below. As always, take care, stay awesome and I'll see you all next time.